Yo, what's up guys? This is your anti-social and I'm going to be doing a reading on Cardi B, Offset, and this girl named Pre. This video is for entertainment purposes. So we're going to see if he got this girl Pre pregnant. We're going to see what was the energy between them. And we're going to see what's the energy between Cardi B and Offset now. So Spirit, what was the energy between um, Offset and Pre? Did they really have relations? Offset and Pre. <laughs> So I got the Nine of Wands in the back of the deck, the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, <coughs> the Two of Cups. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We also got the Lover's card. Oh, wow. We got the Seven of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Offset ain't shit. And we got the Emperor card. Oh, wow. So Offset is most likely older than this girl. We got the Nine of Wands, which talks about um, him not really trusting her now. So this is the energy now. He might not really trust her. Um, <coughs> and he might not really be fucking with her right now. Now, with the Ace of Pentacles, it definitely does talk about her getting a bag from this. So he definitely did give her a little something, something, something. She takes care of herself through this man's money with the ace of pentacles definitely talks about solid foundation six of cups him romancing her um sending her love messages um she could also be from like his past so he could have been messing with her for a minute the two of cups does talks about um friendship but this could also talk about like relationship so he could have been like in a relationship with this girl two of cups we also have the lover's card, so there is love here. Um, the seven of pentacles does talk about investment, long-term goals. So he really was messing with this chick for a minute. And he planned on messing with her for a minute. The emperor card does talk about him being older than her, um, <laughs> telling her what to do. Um, we also have the knight of cups, love messages, romance um the justice card does talks about this coming out and the ace of wands so yeah the justice card the ace of wands this came out this was exposed so yeah he definitely was fucking with this pre-girl they definitely did have a relationship um and he was definitely romancing her until it came out and now with the nine of wands he doesn't really trust her um, four of swords, see that fall back shit? See, he, he fell back from her. Two of swords, avoidance. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Do y'all see that? <clears throat> Do y'all see that? If I keep pulling out more cards, seven of cups talks about avoidance. Trying to avoid this shit. Four of pentacles, <clears throat> wanting to keep this shit to themselves. And then we have the eight of cups, disappointment, walking away. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Do y'all see that? Because news came out. Nine of Wands. He was cheating with this pre-girl. <coughs> he was cheating with this pre-girl. Everything that girl said was the truth. <coughs> What's the energy between Offset and Pre now? What's the energy between Offset and Prina? Page of Cups in the back of the deck. Um, ooh. <coughs> With the Ace of Pentacles and the side card. <coughs> we also got the Two of Wands. We have the Page of Swords, the Knight of Swords. Um, we have the Three of Cups. I feel like Cardi B wants answers because her energy is coming up in here. <clears throat> so with the Ace of Pentacles and Two of Wands, talks about Offset being a family man. Ace of Pentacles, the Sun card, spending time with his children, enjoying himself. Um, the Two of Wands does talks about reconciliation, but this could also mean like um, stuff coming out. And with the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords, 
gossip and someone wanting answers like is this true or not um the three of cups could be you know um like offset could be around friends or he could be enjoying himself or this could also represent like this girl being in a third party you know three of cups third party um could also stand for three some nine of pentacles offset acting single um ace the moon card this being a secret illusion um we have the lovers card this love being a secret and an illusion so this situation could be one-sided this girl could be more into him than he's into her um we also got the ooh. we got the two of cups the emperor card and the six of cups so i'm gonna see if he's going to reach out to this girl again three of pentacles does talk about collaboration Three of Swords does talk about someone getting heartbroken. This could be Cardi B's energy. Um, but her keeping calm. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. If he if he reunites with this pre-girl, he's going to get caught. Spirit is offset going to reunite with this pre-girl. Lover's card in the back of the deck. Six of Cups, yeah, he is. He's gonna reunite with this pre-girl. Six of Cups, Three of Swords, and it's gonna break someone else's heart. Six of Cups, Three of Swords, the Star card. Yep, yep. Um, this could end up being public. Three of Cups. Um third party celebration. Six of Swords. Someone moving forward, the strength card. If he reunites with this pre-girl, Cardi B is going to threaten to leave again. Five of Wands is going to cause lots of chaos and commotion. The King of Swords um, and the Temperance card. Balance. <clears throat> we got the Ten of Swords. I mean, Ten of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. Um, it basically just talks about like... Um, like someone is going to see this shit as a burden oh there is love here with the ace of cups this shit is going to cause conflict in his marriage ace of cups ace of swords it's going to cause conflict like actual conflict with his marriage um he's going to start to see this as a burden with the ten of wands um the Six of Swords does talk about him traveling. So he can reunite with her. But if he reunites with her, he's gonna get out of again. Like he's gonna get out it. Like offset, you are going to get out it. Like I don't I don't I don't I don't get it. Um Spirit, what's the energy between Cardi B and Offset? Oh my god, I hate how these cards do, bro. What the fuck? cherry card in the back of the deck we got the devil card we have the six of pentacles we have the tower card we have the ten of swords <coughs> we have the seven of swords and we have the seven of wands <coughs> so the cherry card talks about determination this could also mean departure um this could also mean stuff happening very fast rapidly the devil card does talks about deception codependency um six of pentacles could talk could mean like him buttering like cardi b up um so this relationship is toxic um this could also mean like him using sex and gifts to get in her good graces um because of this tower moment this 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 exposure throwing them both off ten of swords talks about cardi b being hurt um but also being strategic this could also mean her being hurt about him cheating 
um or her being hurt and cheating back at him the seven of wands does talks about like offset coming off as naive trying to force things um to keep you together four of pentacles talks about him keeping to himself um the eight of cups talks about disappointment someone walking away or him changing trying to change the knight of wands talks about us seeing this or he could be trying to change because of this news that came out <laughs> oh excuse me what the hell we have the Nine of Pentacles, which talks about Offset still acting single. <clears throat> a judgment card, redemption. This could also mean, like, even though, you know, he could be taking care of himself and acting single, he could still be content um, with Cardi. So he doesn't really want to leave. The judgment card does talk about forgiveness and redemption. The magician card talks about him planning something. Um, we also have the high priestess knowledge so cardi b already knows his moves will of fortune talks about this being a cycle and not seven of pentacles talks about him looking at long-term goals and being patient with cardi b so this is a cycle like like this cheating shit that he does is a motherfucking cycle and with the four of swords <clears throat> the two of swords and the seven of cups he's going to be trying to avoid temptation or this could be cardi b falling back and avoiding him but either way, there's some type of avoidance. Um, Four of Cups does talk about empathy. Um, you don't feel bad. Empathy of recklessness. Um, and we got the Five of Pentacles. Worried about his, you know, family. Um, the Emperor card. The Two of Cups. Yeah, him worried about this relationship. The World card could be him traveling. Um, I'm going to see if Cardi B is going to have another child by offset. Spirit, is Cardi B gonna have another shot by offset? <laughs> we got the judgment card, redemption, the tower card, him trying to redeem himself from this tower moment, this shit being a cycle. Um, the Nine of Pentacles, the him acting single being a cycle, Knight of Swords, Page of Swords, Card to be wanting answers, negotiations, the Hermit card, the Five of Cups, the Hierophant, Five of Cups, Depression, Hierophant, um, Nine of Cups, Partying. Don't be surprised if you see Cardi B outside or you see Offset outside. Two of Pentacles, Negotiations, Ace of Wands. There could be a new addition to their family because I do see the Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, which basically talks about like um, trying to figure out how to handle um, this family situation. So the Ace of Wands could indicate another baby coming into the family. Um, if Cardi B is pregnant, she's trying to figure out how to handle it. We got the four of wands, we got the three of wands. I'm not really getting any other baby cards besides the queen of wands. Um, ugh. <clears throat> Let me see. Clarify, spirit. Is Cardi B pregnant? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Go. Okay, it's so goddamn fucking annoying. Nine of Swords in the back of the deck. We got the Knight of Wands. We got the Queen of Swords. We got the Three of Cups. We got the Six of Cups. We got the Queen, King of Pentacles, the Death card. Um, the Five of Swords, the Nine of Wands, the Page of Pentacles. And she could be. She could be. She could be. If she's not pregnant now, she will be. The Knight of Wands definitely talks about um, news about pregnancy. The Three of Cups does talk about collaboration in terms of baby. Six of Cups does talk about love messages. Um, Death card does talk about metamorphosis change. Five of Swords does talk about defeat. Um, defeat, disappointment. Um, the Nine of Wands does talk about, you know, offset, standing his ground. I'm not cheating. I'm not doing shit. 
page of pentacles does talks about like um focusing on money um or this being a money opportunity we do got the empress card which does indicate pregnancy the six of wands someone keeping their head up high having a big ego ten of wands finish as a burden if cardi b is pregnant offset isn't really happy because he ten of wands he feels like they already have enough kids like, he's not happy about this if she is pregnant she could be pregnant six of swords moving traveling um Three of Swords heartbreak. If she's pregnant, she's going to spend most, most of it alone. Six of Swords, Three of Swords, because it is heartbreak. So we got the King of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, there could be another baby coming for them. If she's not pregnant now, she will be pregnant. Um, and she will probably spend most of her pregnancy by herself. Um, okay. Um, will Cardi B leave Offset? My, God, my cat is so annoying. Sorry, y'all. Oh, my God. I got the Six of Pentacles in the back of the deck. Can you move over? I don't want to see... Six of Pentacles in the back of the deck. Uh, we got the Devil card. The Ten of Swords. So this is a very toxic marriage. Offset is a very toxic person. He could also have addiction problems. He could definitely be on drugs. Um, or like he could have like a sex addiction. I did a reading on him before and I told you guys about, you know, he might have like an addiction. Um, and that he's reckless and that he cheats. I told you guys. I told you guys what it was about Offset. We got the Ace of Cups. We got the Fool card. We got the Ace of Cups. We got the Fool card. We got the Magician card. We have the Emperor card. We have the King of Wands. We have the Sun card. We have the Moon card, which basically talks about Offset. Um, I don't really see... It's weird. It's like... Um, with the devil card and the ten of swords, Cardi B is going to be getting a hurt, hurt a lot because Offset's going to be doing a lot of deception. She's codependent on this man though as well, but he's going to keep on hurting her with the ten of swords. Um, the ace of cups does represent this marriage baby. They could have another kid. The full card talks about him re moving recklessly. This could also talk about new beginnings or her being on a long journey with this man. The magician card does talks about, you know, him getting his shit together and being a man, um, getting their family organized or, you know, manifestation. So um, it's giving more so he could leave than she could leave. Um, the King of Wands, the Sun card does talks about another child, happiness um, in the future. The Moon card does talks about someone being in their head illusion. Um, the Hierophant, Commitment. I don't think she's Two of Wands. Definitely talks about planning. King, Queen of Wands. She could actually plan to leave him. She could be planning to leave this man. Two of Cups. Um, we have the Nine of Swords, Anxiety, Paranoia, Trauma, Ace of Wands. Cardi B has a lot of family trauma, and she could talk about this with the Ace of Wands. Uh, we have the Two of Cups which talks about balancing, seven of wands, naiveness, judgment card, redemption, forgiveness, uh, judgment on their relationship, knight of swords, page of swords, she could, okay, ace of pentacles, she could threaten it, knight of swords, page of swords, she could threaten to leave him, um, tarot card, Something else is going to come out about their situation, tarot card, there's going to be another situation and he's going to regret five of cups. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles, yeah, and he's going to be acting single like he does. He's going to be acting like he don't care. The Strength card, the Five of Wands, lots of chaos in the public eye and arguments. Eight of Pentacles working. I honestly think that part of their job is creating commotion around their relationship to keep people interested in them. I honestly, I'm starting to think that's what it is. We've got the Ten of Cups being a family unit. Um, I don't see them. The uh, Hangman talks about departure. Uh, I don't see a divorce, but I do see them, you know, being off and on. I do see them being off and on. She, you know, if she files for divorce, is it going to be finalized? Probably not. No. 
you know, her job is to be with this man and to create commotion surrounding their relationship and then to be under him at the same time. So like I told you guys before, ignore this mother, ignore this couple, ignore them because they are annoying. And a lot of shit that they do is not even, ugh, it's annoying. But there you guys have it. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and peace.